Hidden Object Guru here with a look back at our first week of Big Fish Games' Year of Daily Games. Still have to come up with a better title for this thing. Uh, we started off great with Dance Macabre, a very intriguing game about a haunted opera house and the evil ghost who wanted to spoil the performance of the sister of his dead fiance. Although he also killed the sister's rival, so... I don't really know what's going on there, and I'm excited to see the rest of that game at some point. Then we went to Greed 3, which was just a, a low production value mess. Mortimer Beckett and the Book of Gold was a half puzzle game, half hidden object game that I found mildly endearing. Not enough to play more of it, of course, but, you know, definitely something to look at if you want to introduce people to the world of hidden object games. Then we had the endearingly generic The Legacy Prisoner, which despite its high production values, did seem rather bland. Great hidden object screens, great setting, fun puzzles, but it lacked the kind of spark or super interesting premise I would need to make me be excited about playing the rest of the game. Which brings us to the game that had all of that in spades, Labyrinths of the World, a dangerous game, which is just Jumanji. It's just Jumanji, but you go to Dungeons and Dragons instead of, like, a jungle. I'm so excited to play the rest of this game. I bought it the minute I finished playing it, because it was 60% off that day. But I still bought it, and uh, I am very, very excited to get back to that one. So look for those videos in the coming days. Then, of course, we had Lost Artifacts Golden Island, which, as a time management game, did not interest me in the least. Uh, I, played, I played my hour with it and I didn't have a good time for more than a few seconds of that hour. Check out the video if you don't believe me, but uh, I think you can see that I'm a person who is easily charmed by fireworks, and while that doesn't say good things about me, the fact that fireworks play at the end of each level is basically the only real thing that Lost Artifacts had going for it. Then the week wrapped up with Medium Detective, Fright from the Past, which, despite its awkward title, was a largely well-designed hidden object game, really great hidden object scenes, uh, puzzles that leaned a little too heavily on the whole, here's a bunch of blocks, when you move one, the rest of them move two, figure out what order to move them in to make them all complete. I kind of hate those, not as much as I hate sliding blocks, but it's a close second. A bleak game world, very dark art, an interesting enough story that I'm definitely going to check it out at some point but it was nowhere near good enough to unseat Labyrinths of the World, a dangerous game, or even Dance Macabre as the best of the week. So here are the final rankings for the first week of my Year of Game Fish. I'll see you back here every day for more streams, and then next Sunday for the Week in Review. Until then, au revoir.